Hello guys, in this video let's see how to flash Cyanogen Mod 12 on the Xperia M. So let's get started. First of all download both CM12 and GAPSIF from the links in the description below. And now extract the boot.image file from the CM12 zip. To connect your device into fast boot mode, simply switch off your device, hold the volume down button and connect the USB cable. Now we have to flash this image with the flash tool. For that, open up the flash tool and select kernel to flash and then select the boot.image file and simply flash it. To flash the boot.image file, you need to connect your device into fast boot mode. After you have successfully flashed the boot.image file from the CM12 zip, then just switch off your device and then once again switch on your device when the LED turns to purple color hit the volume down button so that you will boot into TWRP recovery so as you can see over here we have successfully booted into TWRP recovery so the first thing that is recommended to do is backup the current ROM so that if something goes wrong afterwards you can simply restore that backup and uh, you will be on safer side so just go ahead and select backup now if you want to store this backup to your external SD card then select the storage option over here and select micro SD card and hit ok now this backup will be saved on the external sd card and if you want to rename the backup then you can simply name it whatever you want over here then hit the enter button over here and then select swipe to backup this will backup your rom and this may take some time so we have successfully backed up the rom so let's go ahead and install the rom uh, for this video i am going to install the rom from the pen drive that's the otg cable over here and uh, you can install the rom from otg cable too so don't worry now select wipe and just swipe to factory reset this will wipe your data cache and dalvik cache so you don't have to separately go and wipe cache and dalvik cache again so now even the wipe has been completed so hit back and now go to install and hit storage over here and select the storage wherever you have put the cm12 zip and the gap zip i'll give the link of these files in the description below so don't forget to check them out for me it's usb otg cable so i'll select that and hit ok and now Go to the folder over where you have put the CM12 zip and now select the CM12 zip and just swipe to confirm flash. Now this will flash the CM12 zip and after this we will flash gaps and then we will reboot to system. So now even the ROM installation has been completed. Now select install and select the gap package over here. This is specifically made for lollipop ROM so flash these gaps only and do not flash any 4.4 gaps. So now we have successfully flashed the gaps too. So now you can simply go back and reboot to system so that we will boot into CM12 now. And if you were installing this from USB OTG cable then you can remove it, simply remove it now. Now we should boot into Cyanogen Mod 12 and the first boot may take a longer time. So do not worry, let the device boot by itself. So as you can see over here we have successfully booted into the lollipop ROM. So let's go ahead and take a look how the lollipop ROM looks on the Xperia M. So now we have successfully uh, successfully flashed the lollipop rom. So I have earlier used this rom for around 2 to 3 days and the rom is working perfectly fine and almost everything is working. You can use this rom on daily basis even if the rom is in alpha mode right now. So the work done by developers for the Xperia M is really great and thumbs up for that. Don't forget to hit the like button for the developers who developed this rom. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and check out my other videos too. So thank you guys. Thank you.